We are having a ton of fun here. You are watching True Talk if you're joining us. Next up on the show, we have Drewis Beasley. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. This is your first time here yes, on True Talk. I appreciate that. We're going to take you. questions from the audience. So okay. tell us, before we do that, tell us a little bit about what you do. Um, I do a whole lot of things. I'm a 16-year initiated priestess in an African tradition. Um, I am a metaphysician for 35 years, astrologer, numerologist. You know, the room is packed with people. I happen to also sense when a room is full with a lot of people, you know, others that we can't see, but you all know them, because they walk behind you all the time, but you like to ignore them. I just thought I'd let you know that that's what they want you to know, you know. So, so there, there's a lot more people oh, there's here a than whole, that are here. Like, this room is jam-packed with people. Oh, okay. Jam-packed, they're blipping in and out, they're a little irritated, okay. somebody over here has got, I just got a little something, somebody over here has a, a male relative who's huge, right in this like third to the last Huge as in fat or? Yeah, just huge in, hello, oh. I'm knocking, pay attention. So, oh. yeah. okay. that's what I do. Cool, so how long have you been doing this? I've been doing this a long time. I'm so coming out of the Did you figure closet. out that you had these abilities as a kid? Always, everybody okay. has these abilities as a kid. That's the real deal. The real deal is that about half of this room Can is already this. switched on, they can do it, but because there's no guidance for us in our Western society, right? We don't have anybody to go to. We come to these events and hope we can get lifetimes worth of shamanic work squeezed in in a moment. Did I say that right? Yeah. Okay, so let's get into it. I promised you over here who, want, who had a question. You, 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 stand on up, please. Stand up, what's your name? Jean. Hi, Jean, what would you like to ask? I've made some big changes, and I was wondering if you could see anything that's See coming. anything like big changes that's coming. Yes. I, I, you know, to be honest with you, what I'm sensing is that any big changes that come for you specifically or for anybody in this room right now is going to happen after the summer solstice anyway. So, most, so for you, for example, and I'm going to pull a card because I'm getting a little something here. For you, it's going to be really important to take care of your expectations and emotions around any of the major changes that are coming. Um, can I tell you specifically now what those major changes are? No. What I can say is your expectation needs to be tempered so that you don't disappoint yourself with what you get. You are to appreciate what you get. What you get is going to meet your needs. And there are, certain, there are some specific things that you've been looking for financially um, and some things emotionally. And, and you're going to get the benefits, but it will happen just at the beginning of summer. OK? So that's that the best that I you? can tell you. Yeah, that's it. It's OK. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Who else in the back? Stand on up, please. Otherwise, I'm telling a story. Yeah, Stand cryptic. Up, I'm sorry. It's cryptic, but otherwise, if I, if I try to give you more than what I'm seeing, and I'm not really seeing anything other than you need to be able to check those things, and you'll know what it means. Okay, what's your name? Jan. Hi, Jan. What would you like to ask? I had a son that passed away some years ago, and there was a lot of unanswered questions surrounding his death. And I was wondering if you would have any insight Unanswered to... Unanswered questions mm -hmm. about his death. How long ago? Can you tell me how 21 long 21 years. 20? And, and you're still walking around looking for answers mm -hmm. to his death. Mm -hmm. So you don't know how this happened at all, or you have some kind of idea? I have some kind of idea, but no one, no, no one can tell me 100% he, why he died or Nobody's going to be able to tell you 100% why he's died. Um, do, you, do you have anything that you've put up to him, like a shrine with a picture of him or a place that you go to where when you're distressed, there's a certain time, and I don't know if it's close to his death or close to his birthday, but there is a time in the year for the last 21 years that you have been... Um, it, it, you, you mourn, you, you call it remembering, but you're mourning. And the mourning itself is keeping your son locked here. He needs to move on. You're not gonna get an answer. 
to the circumstances surrounding his death. In fact, whatever information you've received, see, because I see something around you there. So whatever information you've received, what is it about it that makes you suspicious? Well, they say that he took his own life. Uh -huh. And I obviously have You're not accepting it? No. Yeah. And there were other incidents that happened that day that leaves a lot of unanswered questions. Yeah. Frankly, um, it's closer to he took his own life and the circumstances around it is what's allowed you not to fully accept. There's information about your son that you had, you didn't, you didn't have access to. And for some reason at this juncture, what he'd just like is some peace for himself and peace for you. Do you see him around me at all? He's around you all the time, but he's around you because you're holding him here. There's a way in which you need to accept the circumstances of his death and allow him to move on so that you can <coughs> interact with him in a different way. Does he, does he have a message for her at all? I just, I just gave her the message. Okay, so he's telling her to move on. Yeah, he's saying, let me go. There's a way in which his mother is mourning him that's tying him to this, tying him to this plane, and he needs to move on. I mean, that is true. It's been 21 years. I haven't let him go. Yeah, and, I, and, I, and, and there, there's a reason why that happens, because we don't do ceremonies to bring closure to the end. There is an end and we have to accept it. And so we think that we're remembering them and it's keep, we're keeping certain things alive and we're holding them here and they need to move on. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. you very much. Hug. Thank you. Wow, that was Over hard. Here.